I am John David Ebert, and my brother and I are at Puye Cliff Dwellings. We're right at the entrance to it. You can see the mesa behind us here. And this is a cl cliff dwelling uh, Anasazi settlement. It dates a little earlier than the ones we've been to, about 900 AD, uh, which is Pueblo II, and then it goes down through Pueblo III and IV to 1580. And uh, the inhabitants here have left and they've gone just down around the corner where they live now to Santa Clara Pueblo. Um, you can't film at the Pueblos, so we won't have any footage of that. Uh, but we're about to go in, uh, so let's go in and, and take a look and see what we see what we find. Cliff dwellings. And now we're approaching the cliff dwellings. Uh, it's eight miles away from the entrance sign, so it's a bit, a bit of a drive. Uh, the country is really beautiful. The scenery here. Um, I can see why the uh, Anasazi wanted to live here. Let's see as we come over this hill, I should have a better view. You can see the cliffs off in the distance. I don't have a view yet. approaching the cliff dwellings. You can see them up back there. If you look carefully, you can see the little, little caves up there on the cliff as we come into the park here. It looks like a fun place to have lived. Yeah, there's a bunch. I can see them over here. If you, you can see back there some some of those biggest, those Vegas sticking out of the rocks. The, the roof beam supports. Um, Really cool, and then right in there, over there. See these over here? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, right over there. Some cool caves. So we're about to go on a tour. And let's see. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Some ruins here from okay. about 900 AD. So from this point on, we had to do a slideshow because they weren't too keen on us filming, but they were fine with us photographing. So we're at the top of a mesa that has a 360 degree panoramic view. Absolutely an amazing place to have lived. Uh, this was an ant mound that they had and the tour guide, excellent tour guide told us that ants would go down, they, they kept these ants because they would go down and they would bring up turquoise. They would bring up little tiny flecks of turquoise. Uh, these little gems, and ants figure prominently in, in Native American mythology and Hohokam myth. They're the first creatures created because they, they burrow and they dig labyrinths. So this is uh, the Pueblo that was there. It was very large. It was about 700 rooms, um, and you had no doorways on the ground floor. The ground floor was mostly for storage, and you would have to go up a ladder and through an alleyway to get to your rooms up in the top couple of stories there, or, or maybe it was just two stories. And uh, so all this was underground. They, they dug all this up from the earth. Uh, around 1910, they started pulling it up. And uh, just an amazing place to live. You can see that it's a, a good defensive position because you can see any enemies coming, Comanches or Apaches or Navajo, in a 360-degree radius, and then you could hide your jewels, your women, your children, make preparations for invasion. Here's their pottery sherds. Uh, pottery sherds are not shards. Glass is shards. The tour guide told us uh, pottery is sherds. And then uh, there are these areas. They're unexcavated. There's still another half of the settlement that was not excavated. That's still underground because they encountered some sacred ground with with some bones and stuff. So that then they stopped. The Native Americans said no more. Um, so here are some of the storage rooms, and you can see how small the doorways are. These were small people. The the men were four feet. That means the women must have been three feet. These these were tiny people. Uh, very small rooms, very small doorways, uh, pretty amazing. We had a great tour guide, a Native American woman who knew her stuff, and she had a good sense of humor. So here's a later house because now they have doorways on the ground. Uh, so this is a later development with the Vigas holding up the roof there. I felt like a giant in there. I'm 6'2", and uh, these people were very, very small. And you can see the, the ceiling there, how it was constructed. And this is a, a kiva that I went down into. The kiva is the underworld, the myth of the emergence. The Native Americans came out of the earth like ants. 
do uh, in, in the Illo Tempore. Um, so I went down in there. It was a kind of a cozy womb space down in there. And here are some more pottery shirts, plus obsidian. All those black pieces are a very sharp obsidian right there that they used for their arrows. Uh, and the men went hunting with them. There's a mono and matetes there for grinding corn. And then that's the road down that I could not go uh, because I have a fear of heights. So my brother went down the, the side of the cliff. And I, went, I took a van and went down to the visitor center and, and awaited them to come down. And here are his shots going down the cliff uh, on this trail of these little caves, uh, some of the caves and little places where they lived and did sacred ceremonies. Here they are going down toward the ground now. Uh, we've been up in the clouds, as it were, and now you know, look at that. It's no way I could do that ladder. It's 40 rungs on that monster. There's just no way. I have a fear of heights. Uh, that, uh, so I passed on that. Uh, but the ladder is the earth symbol. It's the, it always refers to the emergence from the underworld at the beginning of time. Um, so that's why the ladder and the kiva are the earth symbol for this uh, society, this amoeba culture, uh, to borrow a term from Spengler. And so these are the shots as my brother's coming down uh, the steps, coming back down to the flatland, the world of banality. We've been up into the dream world of clouds and myths and ancestors. Now we're coming back to waking, sober, boring reality uh, where you have to deal with the pragmatics of living. Uh, and then you can see the vigas back there in the rocks uh, with other little houses there. And so, and so up here we can see some of the, the cliffs, the cliff houses there with the ladder at the top. Shots of the, of the cliff dwellings over there. This place is amazing, absolutely amazing. I think the best site that we've visited so far.